Hello everybody, so, um, obviously I haven't posted any videos recently, um, I'll go into that into a sec. I've uh, just recently moved house and then I had about uh, a lot of work to do at my job place, so um, I finally managed to uh, get a chance to get this quick video out. So the reason I'm doing this video is mainly to say uh, the reason I haven't done any videos is because I was looking at the Redcon footage, I'm not actually happy with the footage and I am not going to put up footage which uh, isn't to my standards. Um, so that's why there's been no videos recently. On top of that, I'm not having time to do them, like literally I've just been flat out working for like the last two weeks, so that's why nothing's uh, nothing's gone up yet. Uh, like I said, I'm finally settled into my new home. It's a, it's a house here, so it's a really quite spacious and nice, so um, yeah. I'm feeling a lot more settled now, so I should be back on schedule. Uh, on top of that as well, I'm going to be going through my loadout today for Tazball. Uh, Tazball is obviously the event up in the north of Scotland, which I've mentioned a few times. Uh, I'm going with Sniper Jacob as well. Uh, we've been coordinating what we're going to be doing, so what we're going to do while we're there. Uh, we're all going to do some vlog stuff as well. I'm going to do a bit of vlog stuff, because Jacob's never been, as in his words, north of Cambridge. So he's now going to the Highlands, which is uh, about as far north as you get before you get really, really, like, sparsely populated traditional people, as it were. So that's, yeah, anything north of Inverness, you're going to get some proper uh, proper natives of the land, as it were. So yeah, he's coming back to my hometown in Forres, which is in Morrishire. Uh, we're going to be setting up on Thursday, which is going around all the shops, getting from food to extra equipment. There's a military surplus shop in my hometown, which is where I got my German greatcoat. Um, bought Matt uh, Raven a great coat as well. Um, made a mistake to not look the label because it happens to be a raincoat for the Women's Auxiliary Air Corps. So um, we're gonna <laughs> gonna try and reacquire another jacket for him. But we're gonna go there to get some extra stuff as well if we need it. I saw a really nice holster there the other day as well. It's an MTP holster, it's really nice. But um, yeah, we'll be doing that. So getting food, getting kit, getting camping gear as well. Um, Jacob's been bringing a lot of stuff as well. I think he's bringing his sniper and he's bringing a backup gun as well. Uh, I'm going to do my best to bring a backup gun too. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be going up north. Um, so I'm going to post this video today uh, at standard time. And um, yeah, we'll go through the loadout of what I'm taking to Tazball. It is a free for all event from what I've gathered. So like the first day is going to be settling down a few skirmishes. I think there's like a quiz night at some point. And yeah, just chilling out really. The second day is going to be seven hours straight in the field. So, I, so I've so um, i gathered. I'm not totally sure. But um, it looks like it's just going to be up to 100 people in the middle of the woods just shooting each other and just going nuts. And it's yeah, it's a free-for-all event. So um, yeah, I don't know what the rules are. I don't know if you can make teams with people, but if you can, when you're the last people standing, there's going to be a lot of betrayal. Um, imagine, me, imagine me and Sniper Jacob being the last two standing like, Sorry, buddy, we're going to have to pull the pistols out now, sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Because um, the rules haven't been shown yet, but um, it's going to be pretty uh, pretty hardcore. So, I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah, let's uh, go through the loadout video, I suppose. I'm going to switch over to my camera phone. Because, unfortunately, this camera here, I lost a main microphone for, hence why I'm using this microphone. So, uh, yeah, we'll move over to my... <laughs> to my camera. And I'll quickly go through all the gear that I will be taking with me. So my primary weapon is the SSG-24. The reason I'm bringing it over my neutral as a primary is because electric guns can be a bit temperamental, so do you can gas as well. Not that my neutral's ever failed, but I thought a bolt action sniper rifle would be a lot easier to handle, don't have to worry about charging batteries, and I can just use it whenever. I've also got my hands on a knob bridge scope, which is really, really good actually. Uh, with all the rails I need for recording equipment, I've got a little balancing bubble tool and obviously I've got the scope extender as well to avoid the sunlight gleaming off the rifle. I know the um, the gauze, the mesh you can put on front does the same thing, but I didn't think two layers of mesh would be very good for my eyesight, let alone seeing people. Of course, I'm bringing my trusty SSP-1. It's not failed me yet. I need to fix one of the magazines, but beyond that, it's ready to go. And uh, yeah, I look forward to using it, because particularly after 30 meters, I need to pull it out. Here is a big pile of MTP and t-shirts and everything else, and my trusty scrim helmet. I'll be going through all this to make sure I've got everything I need for the three days. Some of you may have noticed that Recon, I was wearing leather armour. I was just testing them out to see if they worked, and they do. So I will be bringing these along as well. I do actually have a leather pauldron, 
and Leather Greaves coming in to go with my outfit as my final kind of loadout. Once they're in, I'll be um, using them as my loadout video. I'm going to be doing a loadout video once I've got all my gear that I uh, want and need, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Cameras. Last but not least, my old faithful Nuprul Jackal. He has yet to fail me and has lasted nearly two years now. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be taking with me to Tazpal. Uh, I'm looking, really looking forward to it. Looking forward to going home as well. And uh, like I said, I think afterwards as well, I'm going to try and get Jacob down to Edinburgh because, like I said, he's never been north of Cambridge. So we're going to we're going to let him experience Scotland to its fullest uh, to its fullest extent, as it were. So uh, yeah, we're really, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, uh, when I get back, uh, I will be back at hopefully Tuesday daytime which could be enough time to get through all my footage um, and post something for you guys. So it's going to be me, uh, what I say, me and Jago. I don't know. It could be us in the middle of nowhere. We could be teaming up. We, I, I don't know. All I know is it's a one man, last man standing game mode and the winner gets the name etched onto a, a, a really a broad sword, a long sword. So uh, yeah, I plan to get my name on there. Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. So um, yeah. I'll see what happens. And uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week with hopefully some uh, some entertaining footage. If I'm a little bit late with the footage, that's going to be because I'm going to maybe do it a little bit like I did with the Milsom event, where it's going to be like a half an hour long, maybe a special video. Or if you guys want, I can do it like the small 5-10 minute clips like I've been doing with my mainly Rift and Skirmish game uh, video. So I'll see what you guys think. But um, there's going to be some vlog videos coming out as well, so I'll probably put one or two of them up first. And, um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be good fun. So, um, yeah, if you guys are going to be looking forward to going to Tazball yourself, please let me know in the comments below. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to see more, obviously there's going to be, like I say, a last man free for all standing event, all that sort of stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you can you guys can see the video once it's released. And, um, yeah, see you all next week with some very, I uh, hope, awesome, interesting, traitorous footage of what looks like it's going to be a bloodbath for an airsoft and uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty psyched up for this now I'm, uh, I'll see you all next week